Bring me little water, Sylvie. 18-year-old McKenna Fromm loves to sing. She says it's been her therapy through some dark hours. I just have pain that severe aching, burning, stabbing like a knife pain. McKenna suffers from severe pelvic pain, a disease called pudendal neuralgia. It's so bad that I can't like close my legs together and I can't, I can't sleep, I can't think, I can't, no position is comfortable. As a mom, it just, it's so hard to watch your child suffer. The pain started a few years ago and it's getting worse. She's you know, can't stand, she can't sit, she's on the ground, in a, on her hands and knees. The high doses of pain medication made it impossible for McKenna to play basketball, be in student government, or concentrate on her schoolwork. I could no longer attend school full time. I, st I still did choir. Music was just a, it was a release for me. McKenna has endured drug and physical therapies, injections, nerve blocks, and surgery. Finally, her doctor offered hope for relief. How are you? It's nice to see you. McKenna went to Metro Detroit for a procedure pioneered by a doctor at the Women's Urology Center at Beaumont Hospital. The women that we see are very challenging in that they have suffered a long time and it's had such a negative impact on their quality of life. During this surgery, Dr. Ken Peters places a tiny electrode at the pudendal nerve in the pelvis. It emits a low-level pulse that sends a message to the brain to override abnormal signals that cause bladder problems and pelvic pain. The procedure is called pudendal neuromodulation. What happens a lot in these patients who are suffering from voiding dysfunction and pelvic pain is there's something wrong in that communication and that the wrong signals are being sent to the, through the nerves to those organs which then lead to, lead to the underlying problem. After two weeks of measuring the impact of the device on McKenna's pain symptoms, she returned to the operating room. This time, Dr. Peters implanted a permanent device, which acts much like a heart pacemaker, constantly sending those pulses. The hope is to give McKenna some relief for the years to come. It's an amazing thing, and when you make somebody better who no one else has been able to help, I mean, it, as a physician, it, it, nothing feels better than that. My pain is better. My flares go away in about a half an hour to an hour. I wouldn't be able to live a normal life without having come here, so I'm so thankful.